हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला आई एम आशीष सहजपाल असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर फ्रॉम यूनिवर्सिटी बिजनेस स्कूल पंजाब यूनिवर्सिटी रीजनल सेंटर लुधियाना टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द मॉड्यूल एंटरप्राइज रिसोर्स प्लानिंग अंडर द पेपर मैनेजमेंट इंफॉर्मेशन सिस्टम आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग दिस मॉड्यूल द स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड द बेसिक कंसेप्ट ऑफ एंटरप्राइज रिसोर्स प्लानिंग understand the basic components of erp systems list various steps involved in the erp implementation life cycle understand need for integration of information systems and erp implementation understand various benefits of erp implementation overview of successful implementation of erp deployments and list challenges in erp implementation would your brain be as diligent in controlling your body's different part if it had no information on their strengths weaknesses and abilities it is powerful as it receives and interpret numerous signals that are sent to it from different parts of body an enterprise resource planning system functions similar to the brain as it integrate different departments or functions across a company in a centralized manner every department within an organization has its own customized computer application resulting in so loss of information and delay decision making informations or data needs to be integrated from different computer application as an erp is based on a common database it allows every department or function to store and access information in real time erp serves as a cross functional enterprise backbone that integrates and automates many internal and business processes and information systems within manufacturing logistics distribution accounting finance and human resources microsoft dynamic erp suite oracle e business suite sage line 500 sage 1000 sap business 1 net suite lawson software are among the leading erp vendors in the market today with competitive er implementations let us try to understand why is integrated management information important an information system is an open purposive system that produce information using the input process output cycle the minimal information system consists of people procedures and data people follow procedures to manipulate data produce information however today information system are an organized combination of people hardware software communication network and data resources that collate transfer and disseminate in an organization the information system operate at a departmental level and give information that has been predetermined each department has its own database and information system these systems lack the integrated approach the system works in isolation and collecting and analyzing data from any two systems become cumbersome one needs to derive necessary reports from both system and correlate and combine the data with implementation of enterprise resource planning systems there no longer exist isolated databases which cater to the need of a particular department all data has to be from the integrated database this reduces data redundancy and provides updated information about entire organization to all employees further let us throw some light onto the components of enterprise resource planning solution the first is the core erp components the core erp components are traditional components included in most erp system 
and they primarily focus on internal operations while extended ERP components are external components that meet the organization needs not covered by the core components and primarily focus on external operations. The following diagram represents the various components of an ERP solution that is the core and the extended components. Initially when orders comes from the customer they were processed and recorded by the sales department and then the sales transferred the information to manufacturing. After the production made the master schedule, the logistic knew the distribution requirement and then planned the delivery. Finally, accounting was able to bill to customers. Under this business process, a lot of problem may occur like delay, lost order, input error and long lead time illustrated by the following chart. Ideally, all departments should have access to the same real-time data through some interface when they are needed to. This requires a single point of contact system. This is fulfilled by implementation of ERP. Based on identical systems and database, the information flow and product flow can be processed efficiently. To guarantee the effectiveness of ERP implementation, we need to link all the functions of the chain seamlessly. The following diagram represents a ERP implementation lifecycle. The very first stage in the implementation lifecycle is the pre-evaluation screening. Once a company has decided to go in for the ERP system, the search for the perfect package starts. This step enables to determine which package is suitable for the organization. As the ERP system evolves, the experience gain from implementation, feedback by user, need to enter new market and pressure from the competitor force ERP vendor to redefine scope of functionality of their products. The next step in the life cycle is that of package evaluation. This is the most important phase of the process since it determines the success or failure of the implementation. Since ERP system involves huge investment, it is not a feasible option to switch from one solution to another. The objective here is to find a solution flexible enough to meet the company's need to obtain a good fit. The next phase in the process is project planning. This phase decide what to do and how to monitor the process of implementation. What control measures should be installed and what corrective measures are to be taken when things go wrong. Then comes the gap analysis, the most crucial phase for the success of ERP implementation. This is the process through which companies create a complete model of where they are now and in which direction they want to head in future. And thereafter, we talk about the re-engineering, if any re-engineering is required in the process. The two connotations of re-engineering includes use of ERP to aid in downsizing efforts. The second are the business process reengineering approach to an ERP implementation implies that there are two separate closely linked implementations involved on an ERP site, a technical implementation and a business process implementation. The ERP approach emphasizes the human element of necessary change within the organization. Configuration. Configuring. A company's system reveals not only the strength of company's business process but also its weakness. It is vital to the success of ERP implementation that those configuring the system are able to explain what doesn't fit into the package and where the gap in functionality occurs. Thereafter, we talk about implementation team training. 
this is the phase where the company trains its employee to implement and run the system it is essential it is essential to have a competent in house to handle various situation then comes the phase of testing this phase involves testing the real case scenario the test cases must be designed specifically to find the weak links in the system and these bugs should be fixed before going live the next step comes in of going live the system is officially proclaimed operational even though implementation team must be testing it and running it successfully when the system is live the old system is removed and the new system is used for doing business thereafter we talk about the end user training the employees who are going to use the systems are identified their current skills are noted and they are divided into groups each group is then given training on the new system and finally comes the stage of post implementation that is the maintenance mode the post erp organization will need a different set of roles and skills than those with less integrated kinds of system there should be employees who are trained to handle the problems that might crop up dear friends let us now understand the need of erp solutions companies undertake erp solution since it provides an integrated real time view of its core business processes such as production order processing and inventory management integrated erp application software and common databases maintained by database management system integrate financial information finance has its own set of revenue numbers sales may project another version and the different business unit has its own set of figures of their contribution to overall revenue erp creates a single version of the truth that cannot be questioned since everyone is using the same system integrate customer order information erp enabled hand holding from the time a sales representative receives an order until the article is shipped and finance raises an invoice having information in one software system rather than scattered enable companies to track orders easily and coordinate manufacturing inventory and shipping among various destinations easily standardize and speed up manufacturing processes erp systems come with standard methods of automating steps of manufacturing process standardization processes and using a single integrated computer system can save time increase productivity and reduce head counts then comes the reduce inventory erp helps manufacturing process flow more smoothly by providing more visibility of order fulfillment this helps to reduce inventory and ensure faster delivery of material thus improving the supply chain standardizing hr information in companies with multiple business units hr may not have a unified method for tracking employee employees time and communicating with business benefits and services erp can fix that easily let us now highlight the benefits of erp the very first benefit would include the operational benefits erp systems help reduce processing cycle and enable effective cost control through use of data for business decision an erp system eliminates repetitive processes and greatly reduce the need of manual entry of information it streamlines business processes and make it easier and more efficient for companies to collect data integrated information instead of data being distributed through a number of separate databases all information is now located in a single location data is also kept consistent and up to date erp software helps make reporting easier and more customizable with improved reporting capabilities complex data requests are handled more easily 
user can also run and execute their own reports without relying on help from information technology. It is easier to provide high quality customer service using an ERP system. Sales and customer service people can interact with the customer better and improve relationship with them through fast, more accurate access to customer information and history. Lastly, a new system will improve the accuracy, consistency and security of data. Restriction to data can also be enhanced through an ERP system. The next level of benefits which one could get from the implementation of an ERP system is the management benefits. Change management is easy due to configurable features of ERP. Production, resources, uses through use of pattern and trends. And lastly comes the business benefits. Higher profits and improved returns on investment due to cost saving. Better utilization of resources which help achieve economies of scales. These sum up to a better customer service keeping in mind higher customer satisfaction. Let us now take in case of successful deployment of ERP solution. Needing an organizational wide IT solution to help such performance, Pantaloon decided to implement an ERP system from SAP. More than eight years after it forayed into the retail business, Pantaloon Retail decided to implement SAP to keep its, itself competitive in the rapidly growing Indian retail market. Store operation have never been an important to retailers as they are now. Successful retailers are those who know that the battle for customer is only won at the front line, which in the case of a retail chain is at its store. Pantaloon was regularly opening stores in the metros and there was an urgent need for a reliable enterprise-wide application to help run its business effectively. The basic need was to have a robust transaction management system and an enterprise wide platform to run the operations. The company was looking for a solution that would bring all of its business and processes together. After a comprehensive evaluation of different options and software companies, the management at Pantalum decided to go in for SAP. Some of the qualities of SAP retail solution are that it supports product development which includes ideation, trend analysis, and collaboration with partners in supply chain. Sourcing and procurement, which includes working with manufacturers to fulfill orders according to strategic merchandising plans and optimize cost, quality, and speed variables that must be weighted differently as business needs, buying plans, and market demand pattern changes. Managing the supply chain, which involves handling the logistics of moving finished goods from the source into stores and overseeing global trade and procurement requirement. Selling goods across a variety of channels to customer, which requires marketing and brand management. Managing markdown and capturing customer reaction, analyzing data and using it to optimize the next level of design process. SAP implementation is not a single phase process. The project was divided into three phases. The first phase included blueprinting existing processes and mapping them to the desired state. The entire project team worked on current processes within the structure of the organization, analyzed and drafted them. This blueprint was later used in formation of new states of the solution. Since SAP would combine all the processes, each and every one of these had to be evaluated. In the second phase, the SAP platform was developed with the help of NovaSoft template, which was predefined by SAP after evaluation of Pantaloon's need and expertise in retail solutions. The last phase in this project was for stores to switch over to the new system and 
for current data to be ported. Before the SAP implementation, all the data was unorganized. This data had to be migrated to the new SAP application. Let us take yet another example, a case of FedExpress excelling through ERP. FedExpress, the world's largest express company with its incomparable route and infrastructure, make it the world's largest express company to 220 countries and regions to provide fast, reliable and timely express transportation service. FedEx is a logistic service company. It thinks highly about its individual and business customer and wishes to give them the maximum satisfaction to their service. FedEx provides its customer with a wide portfolio of transportation, e-commerce and business service. Before implementing the ERP system, it was extremely hard as well as costly as they had to track the document through keeping in touch with fax, telephone calls, etc. But since the implementation of ERP system, all this was done in an easier way and the service were improved at an extreme length. Federal Express realized early on that information about package delivery was as important as the delivery itself. So it pioneered the use of barcode technology, put computers in delivery van and shared its software with customers. In doing so, the company turned package tracking into a high art and gave new meaning to the term customer service by empowering customers to serve themselves. Giving customer access to FedEx information system raised performance and lowered cost on both sides. Federal Express sees its biggest e-commerce opportunity in linking its shipping software to corporate enterprise resource planning system rather than in delivering documents electronically. Fed Express announced an upgrade to its website which lets customer arrange to ship packages online in 58 nations instead of just shipping within United States. FedEx has enabled online tracking for some time. The site lets customer conduct business in four different languages, which mainly include Japanese, Spanish, French, and English. FedEx has now imposed technology with its logistics and services, which can give them upper hand in the competitive market. FedEx has announced agreement with ERP giant SAP and e-commerce vendor interval to build links to its online tracking system into their software. As a part of this alliance, FedEx is delivering new shipping and tracking application designed specifically to provide R3 users with real-time package lifecycle information. SAP has worked closely with Fed FedEx to develop a certified interface providing SAP and FedEx customer with a fully integrated supply chain solution. The company hopes that through both its website and proprietary PC software for customers, it will be able to move all order taking and tracking online, reducing the company's cost. FedEx implemented its tracking service with which the customers can locate the position of the document at their own convenience. This is done by logging onto the website and entering the code through which they can easily locate their document, etc. That from where have they left, at what location they are, and what time it reached to the end person. With FedEx tracking, the customers have maximum visibility into their shipment status. They can customize their tracking result pages, organize their shipments in the way they want, easily send and receive 
email notification and even same time with the streamlined signature proof of delivery request process. FedEx tracking can remember the tracking number you have entered. So it is even easier and faster to look them up. Let us look at some of the challenges in implementation of ERP. The very first challenge is migrating to an ERP system. An ERP implementation impact people, system and the organization as a whole. And barriers are expected from these areas since work processes are expected to be altered when ERP is introduced. Business processes, roles and responsibility would undergo change. And when this happens, the organization will encounter a sticky issue called resistance to change. Most companies consider ERP today are looking at migrating processes and data from legacy system to modern computer system running an ERP application. Fresh ERP implementation or greenfield implementation are rare and migration brings along a whole set of problems the primary one being the people. So students, let's now summarize what we have learned in this module. The aim of enterprise resource planning system is that a single application can track and monitor all the business functions. In a perfect world, a manager open a single ERP application to find data about any aspect of the business from financials to HR to distribution schedules. In today's world, ERP system have become strategic tools of competitive business. The qualitative implementation of ERP is associated with management of people side of change. It is imperative for the top management, assumes responsibility and drive change management throughout the implementation cycle. It is necessary to change the mindset of the people for which training and awareness of internal people is equally important. Thank you.